Hey everyone! All right, let's do our first checks to make sure sound is good. We've got actually, I took the moment, took a moment, and actually got some nice thematic music for this beautiful uh, Japanese house that we're working on, and we're gonna try to fix fix the uh, finish that up today. But first, I just want to say hi to everyone who's joining me in the chat. So we've got uh, Big Chimp and Zara, and then Diana. Yay, Diana, you're here. Um, and also, I just want to give a special hi. How are you? Big shout out to the beautiful Mia out there. Hi, Mia. Uh, your daddy's awesome. He's my good friend. Anyway, I'm really happy that you guys are out here joining me uh, for the stream. And uh, yeah, so. If any of you did not see what we started out with yesterday, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. That's what Brass Clark says. Anyway, all right, let's go. Let's let's uh, switch screen there. Oh, and tell me if the audio needs any adjustment, just let me know. We already know audio is like the bane of my existence. All right, let's go. Ah, oh, Space Peanut, hi, welcome to the stream, sweet. Yes, the planters, Diana. Yes, that was back when I first started my channel. I love that idea personally. Um, yeah, I'm glad you found that. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, with Pokemon Chimp? Yeah, he's he knows all about that. 
You could talk Pokemon with him. So it looks like Aaron uh, popped into the server from uh, last night, and he is now doing some uh, Zen meditation up here on uh, on this beautiful. Oh, I don't know what they're called. I'm just gonna call it a gate, but I'm sure they have an actual special name. But he looks like he is. This looks uncomfortable for a sleeping position, but maybe he knows something that we don't, and he is. Uh, I mean, look at that. He's got some. Uh, Zen meditation going on. Anyway, um, I have a plan of attack for today. Uh, there's some things I want to finish down in the first floor, and then we'll be doing like a basic bedroom upstairs. But I just want to go over and show you guys what we ended up doing. So we have our nice little tea table with our plants growing out of that. Let me take my... Well, actually, I have this thing sometimes where when I take the hut off, uh, it doesn't come back. So if you guys can bear with me for a moment, I'll try to just not get too close and then we created a cool uh, little fountain pond thing yeah so this is did what I thought it would I thought it would do so with these tech storage boxes um, when you paint them if you then remove the soap it like removes the um, just paint it for a second and then if you remove it with soap oh, vertical pipe <laughs> vertical pipe sorry uh it removes like more of the top so it looks really cool but when you go out to render and come back that does come back so but yeah so we worked on that that took us some time to figure out what we were doing um and the only other thing i think i want to do in here except for maybe maybe some sort of uh installment of something here in this corner is i want to put some Gosh, there's an actual term for it, and I will butcher it, so I'm not going to say it, but in, I was looking up, because I'd never done a Japanese-style uh, home before, so I was looking up what the um, what the interior design is like, and they actually have like a little alcove like this, um, where they would put, it's a special place, they would basically, um, they would have uh, vases there, or important scrolls and sometimes they would change it for the seasons and then interestingly um, if you had someone important at your house then you would seat them right in front of it as like a place of honor so I hope I'm not getting that wrong that was just some basic internet searching but really let's be honest um, the internet is the internet so if I got something wrong you can feel free to comment um, below but uh, I did not do extensive searching on that but anyway, so besides having like a decorative element, sometimes there's also like cabinets there for storage. So we're, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put some cabinets in here and I'm going to use my, um, the technique that I like to do where I'm basically sinking a foundation and I'm offsetting it so that I could take a regular double door and turn it into like, looks like it's, um, narrowed this way and also sunken down. So sorry, this way doesn't make any sense to you, but listen, it's like half a foundation wide and then also it's sunken down into the ground. So it looks like a counter. So let's see, what am I missing in the chat here? Oh, welcome to the stream, Jet Italy. Are you in Italy, by the way? If you are, that is super cool. Uh, oh, Chip, I got her to blush. Sweet. Maya, you're so precious. Um, and then, oh, uh, let's see if I make this. Kabishna? Kabishna? Anyway, uh, welcome to the stream. I'm sorry if I butchered your name there, Kabishna, but you can... Uh, if you want to phonetically spell something out for me, if I butcher your name, you want to type it out the way it sounds, like, that would definitely help me, because I really don't want to offend anybody by just being a terrible uh, pronouncer of names. Gosh, I can't even talk. Um, who else do we have here? Uh, let's see. Eighty Hey Donuts. Oh, cool name. Hey, do you guys do commissions? I'm looking for someone to do a community build on the server I'm on. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. I was, I've was i been talking about trying to figure out how to do commissions. I would say, Donuts, if you really want some sort of commission, I might be able to do something about that. Um, I have a Discord. Right now, it's a... I'll put it up. Fire guide. Oop, my character is pooping. <laughs> Let's see, does that post like I want it to? No, my button's not working. Let me uh, just quickly go over here and post it for you. So this is the link to my Discord. If you wanted to join that, and then you can just DM me. Um, we can talk about what it is that you're looking for. But yeah, um, commissions, I think, is a great way for uh, YouTubers to find an alternate way besides just trying to rack up views. As well as I think it's a great experience. I know that like 
when I met Aaron, I was so I was so excited to meet him. Or when I got to build with Captain Fatsog, it was amazing for me. So I really would like to find ways to bolster those um, opportunities. That it's that is helpful for the YouTuber to get um, commission for their time, but then also to be able to interact with viewers. I think it's a beautiful thing. All right, so moving on. Oh, Crazy Bob! Hey, Crazy Bob! Um, Eh, it's nice to have you. I heard you had a meeting with Chip today, so I want to chat with you as well. And then we've got Podge and Zant. Hey, Zant. Zant is uh, he's a viewer that I, I suckered into helping me on my Discord, but he's an amazing guy. And Alana, welcome to the stream. Yay! Uh, I'm so happy to, to have you. Thanks again for the continued membership. Oh my gosh, Ewok, I haven't seen you in forever. How are you? Nanu, no, Nanu Nanu is not right, is it? No, Nanu Nanu is, that's like Star Wars or Star Trek, Star Trek. Oh God, I'm, I'm very mortified right now. I'm sorry. Uh, so Ewoks, what did they just, they probably have. I should remember for when we did Star Wars, but anyway. So uh, welcome to the stream, everyone. Let's get started on making this little alcove in the back. Um, and uh, Aaron, I see you there. Aaron sent me a message, he caught me. He caught me, guys. So he, he saw it, but uh, he's letting me—he's letting me get away with it. But if I can, when I go to do the outside, I think I will see about um, maybe trying to cover it up with something if it doesn't—if it doesn't take away from the aesthetics. Okay. So what I need to do is offset some things, and I was just remembering um, how I do it, and so I'm just—I'll remove these things, and we'll do it together. Okay. So this is the alcove, right? And I want to offset it so that it is half a foundation in. We want that to be like half a foundation and then sink it. So I'm going to just get the foundation I want since I can ghost. And I'm going to go ahead and do it on the outside and then bring back the foundation from under the ground. Because in this situation, it's easier for me. When you're building, of course, you'll need to be thinking about that and, um, and working that into your build. Okay, so... First things first, I'm gonna use a metal foundation because I think I might need to turn the foundation as I've mentioned in other streams because foundations have specific sides when it comes to pillars and what pillars will snap to. So I want, if you snap a pillar to the side, that will make a foundation go halfway in, right? And that is what we wanna do, but we, we don't want it in this direction, we want it to go half a foundation in this direction. So we need to turn the foundation. This is stuff I learned from Captain Fat Dog. Um, there's loads of other builders out there that put content on as well that will tell you foundational things. Um, I constantly have to remember how to do things because I'm always forgetting these tricks. Anyway, a triangle foundation will help you turn a regular foundation and it's easier to see the change in a metal foundation, so that's why I'm using one. Sorry for the glare, Let's see if I can do it this way. So you know how you can see these little, um, what are they called? Like, like patches of metal? I'll just say that, patches of metal. I I'm sure there's an actual term and I just can't think of it. If I go to rotate through the snap points, I'm looking for it to go in the other direction. See how now they're facing off this way? That's a successful, that's, I've successfully turned the foundation. And now I should be able, before I could, I could only clip the pillar to this side, now I should be able to clip it to this side. So I don't want it to sink in because I want it to stay the same height just so that I can check the increments. Maybe that would be the same. I'm assuming if I were to lower a pillar one increment at a time from the middle, if this sinks in one, it's just going to count as one increment. So it's almost like doing two moves in one. So let's do that. So now we should have the ability where it's now in between. And because I sunk the pillar down, it's also going down one increment. Now, typically when I do uh, these, this countertop for my kitchens, I'll sink the foundations like three, three increments down. So that's one. And now we'll have to do two more. So I'll just take this, take this one out. And I'll just sink it down and then bring it back. Two. All right, what's going on in the chat here? Oh, Nanu Nanu's Mork and Mindy. Oh my gosh, yes it is. I can't believe I was thinking that was anything else. Nanu Nanu. That was a good show. Gosh, I miss Robin Williams, guys. So sad. Um, 
before your time, Mark and, Mi Mark and, Mork and Mindy? Yeah, he like came down as an egg. Robin Williams was in an egg. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm really excited uh, for your involvement there, Crazy, in our project. Oh, so Ewok, you, uh, you know then, you know then what, uh, what, what we're talking about with Mork and Mindy. So w what do you just say? What, 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 as an Ewok, you've got to tell me, what's a greeting then in Ewok? Is it the blooms in the setting? All right. Because I was thinking it was like gamma and I was messing that up. I'm not seeing it. No, that's actually in the game, isn't it? None of that. I feel like such an idiot. Resolution. Oh, light bloom, light bloom. There we go. Doop. Apply. Done. Okay. And I don't know why I'm freezing, but I am. All right, so this is the foundation that we're gonna take in. That's three down. Um, what, Chip? No, man, you didn't need to do that, buddy. Oh, thank you so much for that. Much appreciated. That's, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> that was like a real Renaissance huzzah moment. Thank you, I, I very much appreciate that, my friend. All right, so if this is the regular height. I'm gonna just double check that I've got the doors where I want them to, that they look good because I might want them to go a little bit lower. Uh, no, I think that's still a too high. All right, so we were on three. Let's see if we can um, go have them go down. We'll try maybe five. Four. Who else did I miss? Oh, hey, Donuts. Awesome. I will definitely respond um, to you. I'm assuming you sent it in the Discord? Cool. You can also DM me anytime. I'm all right with that. I like chatting with people. All right. Now, let's see if this is a good... Yeah, this is good. So, if this is our normal height, this would make a good countertop height, I think. Halfway. Yeah, that, that'll look good. Okay. So. We'll get this foundation in, and I'll just need the ghost. All right, so that's five increments down. I'll just bring that in. And I can just switch back to these. And then if we come back up in here... There we go. And we can build a counter. Oh, I always do that though. Um, I like them when they open out. So I'm gonna flip it. And then do the door. There we go. And I was thinking of maybe using a gravestone over there or a box to block it. I'm not gonna put a sink or anything in this. I'm just gonna be, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna make this more like um, a countertop with from the from the design that I saw it was like a counter and then it had like overhead uh, cabinets now overhead cabinets are gonna be difficult as well because I like to use catwalks for them and we know that catwalks go halfway so let me and I might use well no the wood will probably be good so see how the catwalk goes halfway here right and it also overhangs. So I've got a, I'm probably gonna be using fence supports to basically build in where I want them to go. Let's do wood. And I don't really have this down to an exact science, so sometimes I, it's just a bunch of trial and error for me. And oftentimes they will snap to things like pillars and stuff. So I'm, I may struggle with this for a little bit. Okay. So I would have to offset this and I, I could just make the pillar part of the design, I think. 
and I can't, okay. Because the fence supports, like the wall is gonna go outside of that green where the actual fence support is, the wall's gonna extend a bit on each side. I have to um, try to guess uh, how the end of this is gonna actually hit the center. So if those doors, if that is the center, I wish I could have like a pointer so you can see what I'm talking about. The further pole is what I'm talking about. If that further pole might be the center, then I need to pull it back just a little bit, I think. And I might have to do this again just to see. So I'll use a double door. Attach it on top. Ta da! Let's see. Is it sticking out? Yeah, alright, so I gotta move it a little bit further. So where did I where did this one go? So I had it like right outside the middle two. So just bring it in the middle of that. Bring it down a little bit more. Hope I'm making sense. Like the words make sense in my in my brain, but uh I don't know if I'm actually communicating. Hopefully I am. Who else we have here? Lucas, hello. Lucas, welcome to, welcome to the stream, my friends. Oh my gosh, it's Cater Gator. Cater Gator in the house. I love Cater Gator. Uh, I can't help it. Every time I say your name, it legit makes me happy. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, it's gotta be, it's gotta be the sheer, uh, amazing personality that you are. That's, that's what it is. And Loose Wing's here too, Loose Wing! Awesome! Oh, I'm so happy you guys have joined us. So, I am just setting about trying to do... I think it was like right here. Trying to come up with a cabinet. Alright. Now, I know this is sticking out here, but I will try to, m like, hide it or turn it into something. Making a shelf. Because your shelf obviously goes uh, halfway on a wall as well as halfway on a door, so this is like the only way they know of so far to actually try to get it in that area. All right, that's better. Now I know you have like this big ugly pole there. Oh, you know what I could do instead of Adobe? I'll make it. I'll make a greenhouse. It'll look great as glass. I think it'll be just like a little uh, touch. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to think it maybe it doesn't work in a Japanese house, but let's just we'll give it a shot and we'll see. <laughs> Potato, you guys are so funny with that. See that's not as that's not as obtrusive, is that the right word? Obtrusive? Now, it's been a while since I did the video on making cabinets using fence supports. If you haven't seen my fence support video, I know it's probably like a year old, but it's still, like I put so much stuff, different things you can do with fence supports in it. I actually think I need to go back and rewatch it to remind myself of all the things and, and the things that I discovered with it. Um, I can put, hold on. do that would I just do another that's like perfect measurement how would I do I'm trying to for I forgot it was usually to be so easy to make doors but I kind of forgot how I did that um, obviously I can gosh how did I do that did I just put in more fence supports off of the catwalk Maybe I did. All right, let's, let's let's mess with it and see if I did it this way. This might look terrible. All right, it's crooked. First thing. It may not because I'm putting it on a catwalk. It it may not. It may say I don't have supports. We'll, we'll test it out. Sorry guys, I'm I'm missing what's going on in the chat. I'm staring intently at this game. 
see if I align this up right. Oh, it's still too far to the right. Let, let me see what the actual thing looks like. Oh, it's not so bad. It lets me place it, so that's cool. It looks like it goes right flush to the wall. I don't know if it's in or out. No, it's not in. Okay. Pick up. That was green, right? So, oh, that was blue. So it makes it green. And then maybe the door's blue. So yeah, now we're good. Now we're cooking the gas. There we go. Got our shelf. Um, I just did that realizing that I never actually did down here. That's pr okay. Well, now that we practice and remember how to do it, we're going to do it again. Because <laughs> we're going to do our countertop first. Oh, fire. You're always doing this. I'm glad you guys like me and you put up with these little foibles. Okay. So normally I do this with small crop lots and boxes and I raise the boxes up to be flush with the top of the door. So let me just see where the box is at. Yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking two, maybe three small crop lots and hopefully they will fit. Oh no, what are you saying about the walls in the wrong place? Uh, okay, you guys are all up. Are you guys talking about Pokemon stuff right now? If you are, it's cool. Have fun. I just know nothing about it, so I'll let you, I'll leave you guys all to it. Now, Aaron has uh, made this, I think, double walled? Yeah, I think it's double walled, so that gives me a little bit more grace when it comes to being able to push some of these things through the back. Trying to make sure that it's even. Oh, that's going to push it out. That's okay. Because it is going to pop through the front. And I'm trying to minimize that. I think I can get away with that. So let's do three. What? Chip, what are you doing? <laughs> yes, I will show you a DM, my friend. You're so generous. Oh my gosh, Chimp. Ah, <sighs> you're, I, I'm speechless. I really, thanks, buddy. Thanks, man. You know you don't have to do that. Your friendship's enough for me, man. But thank you. Ah, chimp. I'll tell you, you guys are, you guys are pretty awesome. All right, so, um, I will talk to you later, chimp. Thank you so much for that, buddy. Uh. Wait, are you asking me if I ever build straight? I don't build straight. I try. Oh, Aaron. Oh, you said the house needs to be moved. I gotcha. <laughs> That's it. Do over, Aaron. You don't mind, right? Like, you can just come in, redo it, and then while you're at it, just, you know, redo what I've done. Right? That's not a problem for your tutorial. Just uh, straighten it up a bit. Oh, I think Pod said something like that to me jokingly when I was I was saying about the bit that was coming out of the wall. And I was like, uh, and I was joking, I hope that Aaron doesn't see it. And he was like, yeah, Aaron could just, uh, he could just redo the build, move it over a little bit. <laughs> oh, why am I turning? Does anyone else play this game when they're building and then turn their head as if they're actually going to be able to see the side of the piece? Oh my gosh. All right, I think this is good. And the box, it should still support the boxes. All right. Oh, it did that thing. It's uneven. It pushed forward on them. Let me get this one too. All right, it's at two, so let me just double check the height of the boxes. Oh, actually it looks like two is better. Okay. Let me check the outside. I think we're okay. Yep, we're okay. Now, that is a little sloppy. So I can, I can pick them up and push them back a little bit because they, they didn't perfectly align. Okay. 
You guys talking about cars now? What's that? Okay. Uh, I know you're talking to Aaron, but now I feel like I'm eavesdropping. All right. It's the shape of a Mustang. Oh, I'm missing it now. Like the other two I own, they'll be in the garage for a couple years. Oh, are you, like, are you redoing a car? Ah, yeah, Aaron, I think you're right. It's totally, it's totally on me. Mm-hmm. Actually, wait, I should be, I should be pushing that right back on you, Aaron. <laughs> but yeah, no, you got me. You got me on the ladder thing. One of the viewers the other day backed me up, though. Oh, was it a new? Uh, uh, I think it was an AU something. He said he thinks that those uh, imperfections make it look more realistic. So, there. You want know, everything to be so sterile looking. <laughs> okay, we've got two, and I think that was right. They look good from the front. They look good from the outside. Moving on to the boxes. So with, if you've never seen this kind of uh, countertop thing uh, done before, what's cool about it is, you know, you can actually still use the boxes. Like you can open it up and put stuff in them. Oh, okay, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do this incremented because of that middle bit. That's okay. This brings more texture. Aaron, what did you think about the table uh, design, how we ended up doing it? I thought it looked pretty dang cool. Oh, that's not the same. What if I put something halfway through here? Looks like something is missing there. Hmm. What could I do there that would make it interesting? Uh, okay, what if I take a small crock pot again? Yeah, but that looks like outside. That could have been bad. Yeah, it's bad. Okay. So I'm thinking I could probably just put something there, um, like a artifact pedestal. I want to put it in the middle, but the. Uh, Fans foundation is causing issue with that, so I gotta put it just a bit to the side. Oh good, I'm glad you like the table, Aaron. I don't really know what I'm doing with this right now. I don't know if this would necessarily look like anything, except for the fact that I'm just experimenting. Oh, Ghost, welcome to the stream, Ghost. Oh my gosh, you pod, you're funny. You and Aaron, this poke thing. Yep, gotta, gotta do your pokes or he's not gonna like the uh, stream. Pod, gotta do your job. Okay, uh, well actually, let me see if there's anything else I need to do on here. If I were to throw a pillar over here, 
Th this could just be part of the, all right, let me do a gravestone. Um, You know what? I didn't think about doing a backsplash, but that's okay because I think it wouldn't necessarily work with this. It's more simplistic. I'm just wondering if adding this gravestone at the end would look cool. No, well, maybe not. I could put it up on the, the top shelf, but maybe I can do that over here to make it part of the... I don't know what to call it. I, I know it has a name but I really can't think of what it would be called. I could also use a flag as well because I could paint some uh, characters on the flag. Let's see if I can get it like just halfway through. Go, 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 go. Hmm. Wondering what it might look like if I paint it. And I know it's gonna it's weird because you've got half that fence support over there. Hmm. I have to think about this a bit more. What else do we have? We have vases. It's almost like I'm just trying to create a struck a, a, a sculpture of some sort. Oh you know what? Let me grab a canvas, because we know canvases do some crazy things. like I can't get it to do that side thing that we did with the fountain because the the door the double door well you could just cover it like this and what else what else let me get a sign Oh, that's weird. It goes on top of the vessel. That means it probably goes sideways for that. Uh, come on, I'm trying to make this straight. Oh, this is so crazy to do sometimes. Okay. Um, what if I take another grave? What a cool fight. Oh, oh, maybe the artifact. Yeah, okay, let me do this. I'm gonna take an artifact. Because I could write on the canvas, or I can just paint it all one color. I could actually put an artifact in here and have the artifact be like all glowy. That'd look pretty dang cool. And then put it halfway in. Maybe put torches. I mean, the artifact itself is gonna be super cool and glowy. We could maybe get like a pink one to go into the apple blossoms. And let's do um, the vessel again. I think, do I want just the top of the vessel to stick through or do I want to raise the vessel so it's on top of the artifact? Because the artifact itself is going to have something in it. Hmm. That might look cool just like that, where it's just barely sticking out. I don't know, maybe. If I could paint it all one color, that certainly would look cool. All right. Because another option is to take some more of these bad boys. Although that would stack up that would stack up in front of the pedestal. Nope, not gonna do that. Alright, let me see about a torch. And we could make Oh a campfire! Campfire, because then we could have fire on top of the artifact. It'll be fire and glowy prettiness. Let's see. Let's see if that's still good. 
I can access it. Sorry guys, I'm totally lost in design here. I did not even read. I did not, I have enough reading chat. What? Alana, oh my gosh, guys. I feel like I should have like a soundboard that does like confetti and things, fun things that happen when you guys do that. I'm s <gasps> Wait a second, chimp, chimp. Did you really, did you really put in that? Okay, I, I thought, okay, I really know what to do with myself. What do I do? Aaron, what do you do when you get support like this? I do not know what to do with myself. I can't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I feel like I should uh, sing a song or do a dance or act the fool. I'm already acting the fool, I'm stumbling on my words. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, okay. I really appreciate the support, guys. Thank you. And um, th that was really that was really unexpected, Alana. Just just having you come and show up, and then you know the the mem you're already doing the membership. So that was amazing. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And then oh wait, Tressa Cello's here. Hi, Tressa Cello. It's good to see you. I'm glad that you could make the stream. Oh my gosh, uh, I. I'm sorry for being so awkward. I still don't know how to handle it. I'm so appreciative of the support, guys. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Oh, thanks, that's week. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Okay, now I'm flustered. I can feel like I'm, I'm feeling like I'm blushing and I don't know what to do with myself. Okay. Oh my gosh. I honestly didn't even realize the amount that Chip did as well. Like, I can't. That's pretty much like, oh my gosh. Chimp's gonna get an earful and like, I'm gonna try to hug him through the voice chat. <laughs> okay, concentrate again. Otherwise I won't, I'll just be flustered this entire, for the rest of this thing and I won't get this done for Aaron. And I know he waits on this to get out the video for you guys. So I wanna try to get this done in a timely fashion because I'm usually really holding him up. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna do doors. We're gonna move them back just a little bit and I'm totally guessing to see if I've got this in a good spot. Okay, and I think I still need to move in a little bit more. Oh no, it looks like it's pretty good. And it was green and then blue. We'll have it open out, right? Yes. All right, and then how are we? Oh, what's sticking through there? Oh, it's like just, it's the box. Okay, hopefully Aaron's gonna be okay with that. Maybe I'll put some plants on the outside. Really, the, all, all I'd have to do is move over that box. I could do it, but it's so tiny. It, 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 I wouldn't wanna have to go backwards from all the stuff I've done already. Um, okay, so up here, I'm gonna get a gravestone. Oh, it's my friend, Millie Mills. By the way, some of these amazing people are also streamers. If you are watching and you want to check them out. So let's see. Um, Millie Mel has a, a channel. And hey, Alex. Good to uh, see you. Your mom rocks, by the way. And um, let's see. Um, Luswing, Luswing has a, a channel. And um, oh, I don't know. I don't think Zant has a channel. And I don't think Chimp has a channel. But Chimp's an amazing builder. Chimp was the first person to actually show me how to do a circle before there were triangles in the Xbox version. So, I, uh, like, he, some of the, the best builds I remember from the beginning there was building with him and um, Dirty Greybeard. Alright, let's see. Actually, Chimp and I were, were, were on a team together and we built Harry Potter and we, we managed to win the Harry Potter, uh, well, it wasn't Harry Potter, it was just a building competition, but we did Hogwarts and, and we won. I was so proud of us. So proud of us. All right, I could probably push that out a little bit further, right? And where are we on the second floor? Is that causing a problem? Oh, nope. Okay, good. We're like in a hidden space, perfect. Sorry if I'm making any of you dizzy by spinning around like that. way there we go 
All right, so now we've got, and we can paint that. And that looks okay. And um, because the crop outs are there, you can, you can put something up on the counter. Put one of these up there. Oh wait, no, I forgot, that doesn't work. These don't go on crop plots. Poop. Um, the vessel, I think, would, if we wanted to put a vessel up there. Yeah, the vessel would. So we'll put, we'll put the vessel over here in the back, just for a little decor. Okay, and so you have drawers there. Oops, no, I didn't need that. <laughs> crop plot. <laughs> The cabinet there, cabinet there. You can put things up on the top. Yeah? We'll come back and paint it. Um, I'm not sure they want, I'm gonna find an artifact to go in there to be all glowy. But I think that's good. Let me see, I might wanna do something else on the wall back here. Then we can move up to the room. So I think this would be the this would be the seat of honor in this room. Yeah, I think this is good. You could always uh, add boxes in here too. Like if you wanted to do some shelving that you can actually store some stuff, you can stack some boxes on the top just like we did before. Um, or you know you could put crop plots in there, stack them up. But I'll leave it open. Um, and then let's go upstairs. Okay. So the other thing is uh, the, the very minimalistic in the bed, uh, you know, everything uh, is very like to the walls and they have their zones and everything, but it's not cluttered. So the only two things I was thinking about doing in here, maybe possibly three, is coming up with some sort of chandelier, putting, uh, putting some scrolls type of things. Um, maybe I could use some flags for decoration around the room. But then I was thinking of maybe just doing a desk and the bed. So I threw the bed here for now, but let me pick this up. Because I think I'm gonna do zones, one on either side. So you come up, you come around here. And then this this is your room. So I'm thinking of splitting it in half. Yeah, I'll just do I'll just do two zones here. So we'll do the bed. Sorry guys, I'll, I'll check up on the check up on the chat right now. Oh, Aaron, just shut yourself, shut yourself, shut your face. You're so funny. Right. Like if anybody on my channel does not know who Aaron is, I would be incredibly shocked, like really shocked. Sorry, Aaron, I should have given you a shout out. In case you didn't know, Aaron is like a premier uh, YouTube builder for Ark Survival Evolved. Go check him out. He's fantastic. This is actually his build. <laughs> uh, all right. What else did I miss out? Yeah, Podge has your back. I'm sorry, Aaron. All right, now I have two options. I can just stick it to the side here like this, uh, or I can make it, it make it pop out a little bit more. This might be more interesting for the room if I do it like this. But I don't want to get too complex with it, like by putting a lot of stuff around, because I still want it to feel very minimalistic. Uh, so I'm probably not, I don't even think I'm going to do a headboard because I don't think that's the style. It's just would be like a mat and some of them would probably just even be like a rollout mat. So I'm just going to leave this, this low to the ground bed as it is. I will paint the walls and then uh, a little desk alcove. We'll do a desk over here. I will just put it in the center and then we'll just throw up maybe some scrolls. I, the room may not be big enough up here to do, um, Flags, it might just, we'll have to check. I just wanna make sure something doesn't stick to the roof. So let's see, table and a chair. And we'll do this large storage box. We'll make a little desk. Now, I know now we can do that cool, um, we can do a really cool computer desk with the new tech security system, but that would not work for the style of the house that we're doing here, so. I'm counting um, on the floor, the beams, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. So boxes here. That's one, two, three. In. You can just do oh, that looks crooked. Uh, one sided, so you can just have um, the box on one side, or you can do it too. Four, five, six, seven. So then I think it ended up here at the table halfway. I'll see if I get it wrong. I should probably turn it this way. No, I'm just gonna go one-sided because um, I want them to be able to put like their feet in. Sorry guys, I'm missing the check. I get nervous when I'm trying to measure something out, and it's probably because I don't use a ladder. But when I <laughs> when I measure something out, I'm, I get nervous that if I look away, I'm gonna actually use the controller. I'm gonna like mess mess it up. Now that's probably I won't be able to use that cabinet if I go. Hmm. Hold on. So I've said this before in other streams, when you put something, because mo again, most of the stuff that I do is by squishing things together to make them look like something that they're not. So obviously I need Clipping Enable to, to do these designs. And when you do um, clipping, it's squishing these things together. If you go more than 50% in one thing inside of another, you use you lose like that functionality or sometimes the functionality is just so limited you have to you can only like open the cabinet by looking a certain way at it so I like to try to make a design that's still functional unless it really doesn't need to be so if I were to put the table all the way to the back to the wall then I don't think I could open this cabinet but I'd like to be able to use it so I'm gonna that's why I was extending out the box so that I could try to get I have to check to see if this is the right if I got it right I may still have, yeah, so I can access it still. For a long time. And can I, I can get that storage box, and can I get this one? No. All right. One of them I can't get to, that's okay. I want to throw a chair here. Now, I'm not sure, because the room is small, I think I'm gonna change the bed around because the desk turned out to be bigger than I thought. Oh my gosh, it's Tranquility! One of my other favoritest, most favoritest people. Tranquility is also a YouTuber, guys. He does ARC on mobile, which I think is like a lot harder as far as building is concerned. Oh, the Smithy and Large Storage Box, that's cool. Okay. So that that seems more, because before it was like, I don't know how to describe that, but composition-wise, uh, it felt like I would trip on the bed to try to get to this side of the room. And it looked very, there, uh, something on either side. So sometimes, symmetry. Sometimes symmetry is really good, uh, but also sometimes it feels very, cold uh, and when you change it around to, to be something more organic then it's got a more lived in feel plus like, I think the flow works out better because now you can access the bed or the desk I'm sure a lot of you are like I never think about that <laughs> when I, I'm just trying to fill a room but I mean these are principles that you do like in real interior design you're thinking about flow and zones and how do you use one area versus the other so um, and then I think I'll put a flag here. Actually, let me let me get out the flags and see what they would look like first. 
I bet I could put a map up. That would probably still look good. And if I put it on the wall over here when you first come in, it might look really nice. Oh my gosh. You guys are talking about football. <laughs> uh, all right, let me get the flags out. Let's do single, because I want to try to see if I can paint them. Um, hopefully I won't crash too hard. Oh, it's, it's going to stick through. That's okay. My other option then are canvases and I can just make, you know, scrolls by bringing them down. What I have to figure out is, um, I've seen things on the internet where people have actually created, they've taken a picture and they've chopped it up so that you can actually create separate portraits from them and then recreate that picture. I'm going to try to figure out how to do that. I do think I need to put a plant in here because we don't have a window to the outdoors. So we need to bring some greenery in here. I could either have two scrolls down the side. Uh, I think I'm going to do two scrolls down the side. And I'm going to do... Oh, wait, it just depends. If I put a plant in the middle, more than likely it's going to be in my way. Because these plants, you have to do at least a medium one in order to get a nice enough plant. But they're so big. See where we're at because I know there's double doors here. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, no, no, it'll, it'll stick through there. That won't look good. Having just random plants on that side. All right, so if I do a plant on the corner here. I could do a caddy corner. Now you'd have to walk around it. gonna do one so you just walk over it I usually like for decoration for um, bringing greenery in I usually like to do two crop plots because I like to mix the um, sava root and the uh, uh, so the potato and not the corn the lemon citronelle I like to mix them and put them together I think they look pretty cool that won't be so bad kind of like walk over the crop plot which will be fine so that means there'll be green on either side. I could still do the scrolls. I can't believe I haven't used a single mirror yet. Oh, nice. And then I'll just paint them. So then there'll be plants in the corner. That'll look nice. We've got this over here. Oh, I could probably put a mirror in front of the cabinet too. I think the mirrors go in front of the cabinets. Is it the 
wall signs that go in front of them? Or, oh, these things. Hmm. I could put a laptop out of uh, a sign and a canvas, but I think I'll just make it an image. Okay. Uh, sorry guys, I'm always like about to say it, and then I'm gonna say it wrong. Marilise, Marilise, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Call throat. Oh, you guys are still talking about football. Okay, good. What can I put in that spot? Mm -hmm. Did the music stop? I could just do another artifact, but we're gonna have an artifact downstairs. Let me have a little think. I could just put a box. Oh, taxidermies. Oh gosh, I always forget about taxidermies. Too big. Let's give it a shot. No, I think it's all right. Hmm. The only thing right now about the taxidermy, uh, maybe an animal here would look cool, but it's probably gonna be super tiny. The base itself is gonna stick out. All right. Well. Uh, all right, maybe I'll just put a mirror on the wall here for now. I'll just go with a mirror. And then um, maybe I can use the, not the taxidermy, but the dummy. And I can put like a, a dermis on it for like an animal that's like chilling out there. I'll just put it a little bit higher. All right, I think that's good. Now we just gotta deal with color. So let's get that together. All right, sorry guys, let me read the chat again. I feel like every time I look, you're just talking about football, so I'm not really missing out on anything that I can actually contribute to. Ghost, you're tired. I'm sorry you're tired, bud. Oh, okay. Tranquility, are you talking about training? Um, training, like, are you a football coach? Marilies? Oh, that's awesome, because I'm usually butcher names, so I'm glad I actually figured that one out. Yelena Feywild, welcome to the stream, Yelena. If you were here before and I missed it in the chat, I'm sorry, but welcome. Oh, yeah, the base on the taxidermy is rough. Oh, thanks, Space Peanut. Yeah, actually, I wasn't one of the other... Um, oh, that's why. I was, like, writing tax in there. It's like, what is going on here? How do I clear that? Escape? No, escape's not working. Uh, tab. No, not tab. No, tab. Oh, sorry. So sorry, Aaron. Uh, resume. It's like in the global chat. I'm like trying to type in global chat. Now I'm looking at my map. What's go- I swear, I'm pressing buttons. M for map? No. Now I can escape. Now I can hit map. Okay. Let's pretend you guys didn't see that. I know how to do the game, okay? I totally know how to, like, I know all the controls, please. You didn't see that. All right, so let's let's get the paint on. The floor has to be sky because um, that's what we got on the outside. So let's just make it continue all the way through. There we go. I'm going to stick to the white walls with the mud uh, accents. And so I think like the five is the mud.
Wouldn't it be great if we could paint the beds? I love, uh, I love in Steam with the, um, uh, gosh, I don't know which mod it is, but you can actually make beds and you can change the colors of the, the uh, covers. Love that. Okay, mud. And then this should just be five. Oops. So take off one, add five. Yeah, chandelier. That's one thing I didn't do. I am gonna make the all the wood dark to kind of go along with um, the furniture downstairs. I think it'll look better. Make it look more like one piece. And I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna paint that. So I'm just wanna do the edges mud. on this map? I can. What's region 5 do? Right. And I'm not sure the accents I want to do in here, but I will paint these. So it's 5. And I'll come back in and I'll, after I've found some um, images that I can turn these into cool looking scrolls, I'll come back in and do that and I know obviously if you're an Xbox you don't have the ability but you know if you're really good like a uh, youtuber Jelly Fox who does amazing work I think Zany Zebra can also paint it's like flipping Bob Ross and Ark um, I do not have that skill set nope no howdy all right I'm not sure what accents but the mirrors are gonna help we'll come we'll put some sort of color in them uh, I think I'm gonna make that in the background make that I think it no, it might be too yellowy. All right, let me try white on it for the. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through to get them now that I put the mirror on the top. There we go. I could probably make that a color. All right, so what's our surrounding outside? We've got this, these cherry blossoms, right? Okay. And it's sky on there. So what if we did? Let's see what our pinks are like. Let's try like a just a light pink. It's not as bright up on the second floor, so it might have a different hue. But let's let's give that a shot. Okay. That might look cool. I just got a ghost to get the other one. Probably gonna paint the wall or something. The alternative is to just take the mirror off. If I can't get this, then I will do that. Oh, I got it. Okay. Uh, the mirror's a little crooked, isn't it? Oh, it's so, just so tiny. It's up on the top in the top, the tiniest bit. Let's do that again. Mirrors in game are so annoying to craft. So annoying. Um, I think that's okay. All right, so now, what should we paint this color? Oh, we could, go, I know it'll probably be a little watermelon, but if we think about the plant downstairs, like the water lily, why don't we do like a green and see how that works, like the darker green, so it's not so watermelon-ish. Just put it on the outside. Um, and then maybe, I don't know if I want to keep this yet. I'm not 100% liking it, but What's the inside one? Two, three. Oh 
maybe because it's white you don't see anything. Alright, well, we need to white on the outside. You know what might actually be better? Mud. Because again, there's going to be green in the plants. Yeah, I think that looks better. I'm just going to make this mud as well on the outside. And then I might make pink on the inside. To have the tiniest hint of the color. There we go. Oh, see how the pink looks different? I'm going to wait. Let's, let's get some plants in here. They're not irrigated, so I gotta, how do I do irrigation? Let's see. Where do I have my subterranean water? Over here. Okay, so what I do to cheat, and again, when you're building, I, I try to set my pipes up on a grid on the foundation sunken in as I'm building, and I set the pipes through the pillars to get me to the second floor. And if I have a pipe in this one pillar or the other, and I have like um, a pipe right there, that's going to water both those crop plots. I'm going to do that now. Sorry if you guys are talking to me in chat and I haven't looked up yet. All right, let me check out now. Watermelon. Oh, gosh, yes. Coffee would be so good. Oh, I know. I had two cups today, but like on a really busy day, I find I could just drink coffee all day long. When I was in college, oh my gosh, especially when I had to study for something, I was obsessed with the coffee. Sitting in the in the library, drinking loads of coffee. All right, let's go down. And then use bad boy again if you're not cheating like me and ghosting under the ground you just need to have um, to think about that when you're building and that should be watered and that is water tranquility oh my gosh my friends my beautiful friends oh thank you so much Come drink one of your mobile builds one day. Oh, you're on tranquility, and it will be absolutely horrific. Oh, look at the the light change. It will be horrific, bud, because I will not be good at it. Caffeine affects some people opposite of normal. Oh, that's true, true. It can make you tired. I have heard that. All right, so I think the citronelle. You know, you know how the citronelle has that. Um, Midian level, if that's the right word, where it's like the, the blossoms are that beautiful pink and white. Wish I could just freeze them there, because that would be so cool. But um, they're cool. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do. The usual go-to bush for like the hedges and stuff is always the potato. Um, the uh, saba root. I think I'll do citronelle though. I may have to get some more fertilizer here. I know I have the seeds. I know I don't have the seeds. <laughs> All right. Cheats, GFI. Um, I don't think you even need to finish the word. There we go. Ah, that's so funny. But Aaron, does it is it really a, um, a conflict of interest if he's mobile? Because you know he's not going to get the same type of quality. I'm going to be absolute rubbish. <laughs> I won't know how to even do anything on the phone. Um, well, let's just do let's just do eighty because I might do some plants outside. Uh, in New York, it's seven sixteen right now in the evening. Watermelon? Watermelon's so good. I'm definitely Coca-Cola over Pepsi, although, as I said in yesterday, I'm more uh, tea now than, than uh, soda. Oh, man. I could put a carpet there, because I feel like there would be a mat. Let me just see what a rug would look like, if the texture would be okay. I would just do it as a solid color. I, I probably would just make it mud. 
Yeah, let's do it. I think it'll be okay. Or how would it look this way? No, it's probably going to be uneven. Okay, we'll do it back this way. And we'll just paint this all mud. The lighting is so different in this room now from it must be getting late in the evening on the actual server. Another option could probably be brown. I'll get a picture in there and I'll try to get some green in that picture if I can. It feels very like neutral colors. Hmm. I could put a plant in the corner, that would solve it. Uh, let me get another crop pot here. Can I put it? I could put a small one on the table. That might look cool. Yeah, I'll put I'll put a little plant there. That'll look cool. And then something in a corner. The flag would have been good if it fit, but what can I do instead? No, I should, I should leave it, because I think the green, you'll be drawn to the green in your eye, uh, your eye will be drawn to the green over here. So now I need to get that water over here. We're going to have water down there, but that's not in the wall. If I put a pipe in that pillar, that will work as well. Coke Zero? Oh, look at you, thinking about your calories. It's good, it's good. I'm terrible when it comes to drinks, Paj will tell you. Like when we go out to a restaurant, I want like three separate drinks. So I want a coffee, but then I also want a water and I also want an iced tea. And I would much prefer the iced tea to be super, super sugary, like sweet tea. And if you're not from the States and you've never had sweet tea before, you probably will hate it if you don't have a sweet tooth. It's, um, I think it's a Southern thing. If uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And um, it's just basically a bunch of sugar. But I love it. Oh, I, I had an extra pipe. I didn't need to do that. And I think if I put something here, that should water this one. It might be just a bit too far away. Let's see. Come on. Too far away. Maybe if I bring it up one more. Let's see, can I get in there? It's always with the pipe. Oh, I got the, no. Well, that's right, the tap will go when I get out of that. Oh, it's on the outside. No, that doesn't work. Poop. Okay, so. Oh, wait a second, that can't be right. That's not where it was. Hold on. I gotta find that connecting pipe. here is there another pillar no no pillar I can just do some pipes on the floor yes okay so we've got double double walls here so I should be able to go sideways let me get a pipe that goes this way and then hide the tap in the wall and then use the uh, other pipe to be able to connect the two. So I don't need the tap to be at the potted plant. It could be potted plant at the crop plot. It could be here. So kind of hidden between the two. So, okay. 
Oh, no, that's not what I wanted you to do. Oh, McDonald Shamrock Shakes, Diana, they're amazing, yes. Oh, use a water skin to water the crop pot? Oh, yeah. All right, Aaron, I hear you. I'm just thinking that doesn't last as long, but you're right. I'm wasting time. Let's do it. Uh, maybe you have settings on here where it will last. So, uh, like a water jar. A canteen, right? That won't last as long. Oh, I bet the tech one will work, too. Uh, and then I just need to fill it, right? Forget I've got one right here. <laughs> uh, yes, I keep forgetting about this because I never. Does it not go in there? Wait, what did I do wrong? Does a canteen not go into a, a? No, it does. Okay. And oh, hey, Sandy. Yes, I got the canteen. Uh, Podge, stop. It's not painful to watch. Get over it. You know what's painful to watch? Watching you try to build. That's what's painful. Mm. For those of you who don't know, that's my husband, so I could I can tease him. I have all legal ability. It's in the marriage contract. You can tease your spouse. Um I'll just get it. I don't know if I got a tint of seed. Hey Sandy, it's good to see you, buddy. Thanks for popping in. Sandy's also a YouTuber, guys. Um, check out his channel. And uh, Sandy has a lot, like a lot of the architects, they have a lot more uh, technical skill than I do, for sure. Oh, I did have Tinto seeds. Oh wait, I have to actually do this, right? Oh no. Oh, I have to say, if you like shamrock shakes, if you make like a vanilla protein shake and you use uh, like a peppermint uh, flavoring, like you can buy those syrups or whatever, the sugar-free ones too, and then you just put spinach in it, you, you legit have a McDonald's shamrock shake. So like a one scoop of vanilla protein shake, right? Like premier protein or something, a bunch of spinach, it's, uh, I think I forget the measurement, but it's probably like a tablespoon or something of the peppermint flavoring, and then ice and and milk. That's awesome. Got my son and my husband who hate vegetables to, to eat it, so it definitely works. Still not sure if I like the pink. Might come back. It depends on what pictures I put up there, but I'm I'm gonna leave this room as is, and I'll come back and do the pictures. But I think we're pretty much done, except for some more painting down here. I want to keep it nice and minimal. Now you've painted all of the adobe, right, Aaron? Uh, white, right? That's what I meant to say. So let me let me do the same. Oh, what are we at in the time? Oh, good. We're like we're doing well. Haven't hit two hours yet. I don't know if I want that. I'm just kind of hitting everything right now. Could change that to be dark, or I could leave it white. I think it looks all right because this this gives you the accent. Why don't I paint that mud? Okay, now I'm gonna paint all of this mud except for. Except for the canvas. I'm gonna do the metal too. Oh. Might look okay. Yeah, that's alright. And I will paint the fence support that's hiding out here. Go. And then I'll paint the edges of this. Oh, you have the settings frozen? Sweet. And I'm going to paint this mud now. 
Now, I heard you can put, like, a... Uh, the stuff that you do for, like, a boss fight. Uh, what are those things called? The tributes or whatever? I heard you can put those in trophy mounts. I don't know if that's just a Steam thing or if that's a mod. But if you guys just give me a moment, I'm going to look up a couple of GFI codes. And, and I'll pick out... Um, I will pick out... Where is my explorer? Uh, not explorer. Browser. Okay. So I will pick out uh, an artifact to put in there. I was thinking maybe a pink one. Either that or... I always like the teal. Yeah, you guys have some ideas. I'm going to pull up um, the artifact uh, GFI code list. Yeah, the boss heads are good, but I'm not talking about the boss heads. I'm actually talking about like, you know, like a, a Megalodon tooth. So in this case, maybe like a fire talon might be cool. Here, I got, I've got something. Let me, gosh, I love this about PC that you don't have it in Xbox that you can just copy and paste. Oh, now we got a fire talon. Someone said you can do this. Uh, it could just be a steam thing. Yeah, I think it must be a mod. That must be a mod, because you can't do it. Okay. So I could put... Oh, what what are the ones... Oops, sorry. What are the ones that we could use there that would look cool? I would think that the uh, tree one would look pretty awesome. Yeah, I think the Dota River might be a little bit too much, but the tree one is kind of like green and earthy, um, and it almost looks like something that could have possibly been a dragon. Um, not the dragon. Well, I guess we do have the dragons themselves, but that is also really big because it will stick out really far and I kind of want it to be pressed in a bit. But what about artifacts, guys? The blue one and the Mexican one? Mexican one? What do you mean by that, ghost? Um, all right, so artifacts. I'm looking at the list now. The Artifact of the Massive is teal, and it's a teardrop shape. Looks pretty cool. Artifact of the Pact will look super awesome. It's green, and it's like a crown, and it'll be circling around, circling around with flames coming through the middle. That'd be pretty sick, I think. The Artifact, uh, where there's another one that's got lightning in it that shoots around. That's pretty big, but that might look really cool with the fire. I, I forget when, when that was. Oh, the Artifact of Chaos has the lightning. Yeah, the Forest Titan, that's what I'm talking about. No, I no, you, you could do the Forest Titan in there. Yeah, let me let me get that. I'll, we'll, we'll spawn in and we'll try different things if it doesn't look right. So, Arc, GFI, and Trophy? Trophies, maybe? Let's try that. Yeah, Arc Trophy item list. There we go. All right, so I'm going to start with the... The one that I think will look best because it doesn't have a very big profile. It's the Forest Titan Trophy. And it's got, I think, good coloring. See what I mean? That to me like it could be in some Asian dragon thing. And it doesn't have a big profile. Well, if we actually used a real dragon, it'd be sticking out probably to here. So if there's another one you guys want me to try, let me know. Otherwise, that's that's my pick. And then I will do an artifact now for uh, well, the crown one, which I think it's a, the pact. And then chaos or the growth might be interesting as well. They're very bright, though. The growth is like really, 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 really bright. Artifact of the Pact, here we go. Wrong one. <clears throat> that is cool. And then I could paint something in there, just some, uh, some maybe some Japanese calligraphy. Pretty cool, and it doesn't seem to be too bright. We can turn the fire off. 
I could I could try a teal one as well. So what's that one? That's the massive, right? You guys want me to try the Skylord? So another thing too about like some of these, they've got like a, a an image more like on a 2D one side, and so then when you turn it, it, it doesn't quite look the same as the more symmetrical ones. Um, doesn't mean that will look bad. All right, let's try the artifacts of the massive. Oh, wrong one. Nope, not the gravestone. Where are you? There we go. Oh, that might look really cool with the fire. Huh. Yeah, see, it's, it will have a, a moment where it's just be thin. And it also goes up through the image, so where the other one, it, you could have the image and the fire and the crown rotating around the bottom. Um, are you telling me to paint the artifact? You can paint artifacts? Or are you talking about the trophy head? Like, like paint the trophy. Um, I don't know if you painted it white. It, will that stay now? Because I thought that they used to go. Like when you paint a dragon, it would disappear. No, that did not paint that. Maybe these newer ones you can't. Obvi I think the dragons you definitely could, right? The dragons, the monkeys, the um, uh, manticore. Skylord, Skylord. Okay, okay, okay. A gem one. I'll try the Skylord one, though. That might be cool. And then the other one, too, um, is with the lightning. That's the one with chaos. That'd be pretty cool. So Skylord is also like a reddish, um, orangey color, but let's try it. Oh, sorry. Keep going into the wrong thing. It's also pretty big, unless I remember. Oh, I gotta take one of these out. I don't think that quite works with the setup. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah, Podge, why don't you just stick to being a Chatmon? I'm just kidding. No, I mean, it does kind of create a cool effect going through the, the background like that. It's not terrible. It's just not what I'm envisioning in my head. But hey, someone out there watching this video might have really liked that. So far, I'm still kind of... Um, I'm, I'm still kind of leaning towards the pact. I like that it's... It's down at the bottom, circles around it. And then I could just do something in, in the writing. Paint before you mount it. Let's try that. I didn't think you could. Normally whenever I've painted them, I've always painted them on the mount, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be done. Let's see. Oh no, uh, I don't need to do the paintbrush, right? I do the paint itself, so white. Like clothes, right? Okay, white and... No. Like, stop selecting it. Put it down. Okay. White. Trophy. It did nothing. Okay. Did not work, my friend. You like you like uh, the massive better, the teal. Don't get me wrong, I like the teal. I like the teal. Um, I'm gonna go with the crown because I want to put something in there, and the teal, the the massive stuck through it. It it could work as well if you just wanted to do this solid, but I want to see if I can get some writing in there. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think that's a cool little shrine. And then the only thing left for me to do is to fill in the stuff. Actually, let's take a look outside. Let's get rid of the crap we don't need anymore. should be something out there like plant wise I 
should have plants, I think, out here. I think I'm going to need to do some landscaping. You know, one of the things I like to think about for my contribution to the arc building world, slides might actually look cool too. I don't want to, I don't want to block too much of that though. Hmm. Is uh, that people started using plants to decorate their builds. I'd like to think I did that. Besides the fountain or maybe the kitchen cabinet the way I do it. I'd like to think that nobody put plants up to decorate until I said, hey, this looks good. <laughs> That would have, that would, uh, I'd like to try to claim that. All right. I'm not really sure. I feel like they would have, uh, they're, they're known for having these beautiful gardens, right? That's, that's a thing going to Japanese, uh, garden and stuff, but I'm limited to what I can do. All right. What are the plants? What are the plants? We got those big ones with the glowies, but they're annoying. The ones from Aberration, they look cool. <gasps> Scorched earth. They have to be large crop lots, but they're pink. We'll just do like two. And we'll put them maybe out to the side of it so they don't quite pull away from the simplicity of the door. You want to take your screenshot? I'll have to just do it up here too. get some medium ones. I like to put the um, Savo root on top of that one. I could put some greenery around the base of it because it's very, um, it's not like a cactus. I don't really know how to describe it, but Here and I'll do two. One will be the salva root, one will be the citronelle. Okay. But I think besides the painting, which I'll come back in and do so you guys can see what I chose on his reveal on a showcase, but um, I think this landscaping is pretty much the only thing really left to do. do a bench over here. Uh, I feel like I should put some, I think I'm going to put a, um, a trophy mount up on here as an accent and then I'm going to just do a bench. Um, or if I did the mirror in an interesting pattern, I don't know. Let me check it out. Let me see what I can do. No, I don't think it'll look right. And my head's not going to work. Much better just the circle or the wall mount. I feel like it would be cool to put those in somewhere. To have like just some scroll uh, words, but I don't know really what I'll do with them. So I'll leave them out. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll put an animal here for decoration. Yeah, de for decoration. Yeah, I'll put an animal there. And I'll figure out which one I'm going to put. And, and then I'll just, let's do a bench. I 
Oh, I just read that, Space Peanut. I love that. Yes. Woohoo! So I did make a difference, at least to you. That's great. Makes me happy. I really don't know um, Japanese style furniture, but I feel like, what is it called when you've got like a bench, you've got, um, I think sometimes it'd be like a, a lounge. Like you probably would see them more in French uh, interiors. It's, is it a chase? It's where you, it like goes up on each side. But I feel like there are versions of that, and I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese, so I'm sorry for not being culturally aware. But I'm thinking that might look good here if I did it just like this. And then let's put a plate on each side. that we'll leave the back plane all right so now I need to get the seeds oh gosh what are those seeds I'm sure there's a GFI seed list as well can't remember what they're called it's been a long time to use them uh, oh there's a list oh it's like a it's like a plant species though it's a special one Is it the Z seed? No, Y, Y, that's it, Y. Okay. And let's just do 10. Okay. frozen in time. I'll just do some citronelle. No, uh, do I want citronelle? Sava root? Uh, so. I always default to Savo. Sava root. I didn't see it there. Probably have it. Yeah, that would be awesome. And you know, in, um, I think it's probably S plus, you actually do have um, the ability, if you make S plus, uh, if you make S plus um, crop plots, that you can actually take the sides away. So it just looks like dirt. It's pretty cool. So when I stack them and I'm, I'm alternating between Savo and um, Citronelle, I always put the Savo on the bottom because of the fact that it's um, you got the potatoes. So that way, that part is blocked. Have I done a farmstead? Oh, sorry, let me catch up on chat. Um, 
rare flower, yes. Uh, would be nice. Yeah, the rare flower. What, what is it called? The Y seed. That's what I'm using. Tresticello. Uh, thank you for that, Tresticello. And Chase Lounge. Yes, thank you for that, Yelena. And uh, Emily. Emily! Nice to see you, Emily! Uh, would be nice if Xbox got a couple of mods with this big update. Oh, that would be nice. Just, just bring, just bring in Prim Plus stuff into the actual game. That would be astounding. Have I done a farmstead with an old-fashioned barn? Oh, you're talking to Aaron, Zan. I, I'll let Aaron answer that. Um, Space Peanut. Just so we know, it looks like the Extinction Trophy heads are not paintable. The island ones are in your inventory. Oh, okay, cool. And I'm not sure of the others than those two maps since I don't have them on the server. Oh, well, thank you for checking that out, Space Peanut. Look at you bring it in the facts. That's like with Zant, when I was trying to do taming and stuff, Zant was uh, rolling up and telling me where I should go to find the animals I was looking for and telling me how to tame. That's great. Thank you for that. Um, where, where was I at? I forgot what I was doing. Okay, so, Citrinel. We're just going to do a little bit of planting. Yeah, it's growing fast. Okay. music is much better. Very much more relaxing. What did I choose? I think I chose, yeah, I went to my default. Savo root. Savo! Yeah, see that? That would be great. That's the Savo root. Um, oh, it's not such a job, but the Sava root has those pretty pink flowers. That would be great. Be able to keep that. Oh, did I already plant it? Is it just missing water? Yep, yeah, that's what it's missing. And I need to get... Wow, it's so big! Aaron, are you still watching the stream, buddy? I know you're not feeling well, and I know that it's like far, far away. I mean, far, far away. Ah, oh, brain. I know that it's a lot later over there. That's what I meant to say. You're far, far away, Aaron. <laughs> um, but are you still are you still watching the stream, or did you go to sleep? Sleepy sleeps. Because if you're still watching the stream, I wanted to just run something by that you might want to do for the showcase because I think it looks better this way, but it won't stay on its own. Okay, enjoy. I would ask you to make me some podge, but that's okay. I won't, I'll probably be done very soon because I'm just going to finish up these plants. So far away. <laughs> yes, Millie, sometimes that happens to me. I get all flustered and tongue tied. I will do this. Does anyone else do this? So, like, if you're talking really fast or you've got a lot on your mind, do you ever, like, put two words together? Um, so for instance, I've on many occasion when I'm trying to say shovel snow, I've said snubble show. Like, does that, I feel like there's a name and a term for everything. So I feel like that should be a term. Like that should be a known thing that happens to multiple people and not just me. Does that happen to anyone else? Oh, I woke you up, sweet. Okay, great. So the music lulled you asleep and then I made you get up sorry about that um yeah i just if you uh if you don't mind for your showcase i think it would look better and you probably know this already but when you come in to, to film for your showcase this is this tech box is gonna have its top again and in order to like remove it 
uh, you paint it and then you right click, you know, you remove it with soap and then it removes the top. So it just looks like more of a basin of water, but I'll leave that up to you. I just think that looks cool and I wish it would stay like that, but it won't. That's all. That's all I wanted to tell you. You can go back to, to La La Land. You know, Aaron, it's really nice for you to hang out, but you're, you're not feeling well. So if you wanted to go to bed, you can go to bed. I don't want to, you know, I want you to recover, man. I'm almost done anyway, to be honest. Just pan I'm just going to finish the plants and then I'll be done. Boas. There's blue and purple jerboas. What did I miss? Oh, oh, you're saying what, when you would say it. Okay, and Tranquility, you said, my mom always called pork chops chalk pops. <laughs> oh, okay, so it happens to you too, a swing? Okay, all right, now I feel so bad because I was like, I was really embarrassed that I was doing it. I don't know if I put water in this. I was going to put more. I'm pretty much done. I'll just paint that. Um, I might paint it white because it's against the brown. And then I think we'll be done. We'll do we'll do a little flyby. I'll take the HUD off. We'll we'll spin around for like a little showcase. I think I'll paint this white. Oh, <gasps> my son's here, Ronan. What are you doing? Come here. Hey, come here, bud. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ugh. We're like trying to like put our closet back together so there's loads of things he can't have that are out and I'm trying to keep him. Hey, do you need something? What's up? <laughs> Hold on, let me see if he's on camera. Here, come here, come come here. You wanna see yourself? Did your iPad die? Oh, your iPad died. Blue iPad. Your blue iPad. Daddy can help you. Daddy's downstairs, you wanna go see Daddy? Oh, he's not, he's on his way, Podge. He's coming to get you. All right. Back in, back into the game here. Uh, let me paint this white. I'm thinking I might wanna, oh, let me paint that brown. Uh, oh, I could either do mud or brown. Let's try mud because the wall is brown. Yeah, he's so cute, but he's, very, he's very big as well because like I'm five seven and a half Podge is six two and like very broad shoulders and everything so um, like it's we're, we're big we're big people so he's going to be big and um, I'll just when I did his communion when he was like maybe six or seven months old he was so long and, and tall and big, I actually had to go and buy clothes um, for a one-year-old in order to actually get him a, a confirmation uh, suit. But uh, yeah, no, I think this looks good. Anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, so we, we I think I've mentioned this before. So I'm sorry if I repeat things about my family. I just never know who's who's watching the chat that's new. But we lovingly refer to him as our boulder because he's still just kind of like, he doesn't know his own strength and he's so big for his age and he'll just like knock you over. Okay, I'm just gonna let the plants grow. I know those plants are a little bit big. I hope that's okay. I tried to stagger them out so they didn't take away from the beautiful um, um, scaffolding, which is more like, you know, the, the Japanese uh, doors, the sliding doors. So I tried to stagger them out to the side, but that's it, guys. I'm I'm pretty much done. Let me take let me put this down, take the hood off. We'll do a little scroll through. There's Aaron. Aaron, you're doing some Zen poses. I was saying in the beginning, you're doing some meditation in the Zen. Let's come in. Let's do a nice little zoom. Should I take you down for this, Aaron? I have someone edit this video. Just no, maybe that'll be the Easter eggs. We'll just let me let me do this again, guys. This 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 is I'm gonna have someone help me out 
and try to edit this into a, an abridged version. So I'm just gonna leave Aaron's body in as like Easter eggs in my videos. You don't mind, Aaron. So let's see if I can somehow get this right. Or I ghost it, nope. Uh, let me ghost too. I should go into spectator mode, but I'm not gonna. Another alternative is you could paint, um, oh, I still have to paint the, the scrolls on the wall. I'll come back and do that for his showcase. But um, you could paint the um, cabinets brown. I think they would look good too, mud or brown. Now let's do it from this direction. Around the side. Oh my gosh, it's Vlad. And Ras Clark. Oh, hello, guys. Welcome. Just finishing up. Just trying to get some shots here. Flying through. Our little table over here. Wait a second, I was wondering why that looked different. We're missing our door. Did I somehow get rid of the foundation underneath? I think I did. I did. I went punch happy. I can fix it. I was like, why does that look weird? Why does it not look right? All right, so foundation. I'll fix it, I'll fix it, here we go. Real quick. Hey, Ras Clark. Uh, and Vlad, how's things over there in Australia, Vlad? All good? I can't believe I did that. Um, and I think, what did we do? We did like... Um, we ended up going five down, didn't we? Sorry guys, I'm just trying to focus on my mess up. Four. Five, okay. Can't believe I did that, that's so funny. I did hear something break too, and I just didn't put two and two together. So that's going to be sticking up out of the ground a little bit, isn't it? But you know what? I think I could make it look like something. i just put it on the other side. What does that look like? Oh, it looks the same. Okay. All right, let's get our double doors and fix that. <laughs> Silly. It's going to keep jumping to that defense foundation. I don't want you to do that. Come on. 
space for me, please? Just say, cycle through and see if it's gonna snap to it. Okay, worst case scenario, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one more way through here and then worst case scenario, I just have to like get rid of the doors in the top and I can just put them on again. Where's the double door? Come on. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We're, we're back. We're back. Back in business. Okay. Let me paint them. Done. Okay. Oh, back to what I was saying. I'm not saying, we're really just trying to get some cool flyby views. Oh, now of course it's, of course it would rain. All right, I will have to just get some extra footage on the side. It's not a part of this live stream. But that's it. We've got the bottom. And then we've got our, our bedroom up here. Nice and simple, and I will try to make some scrolls. I might still take out the pink. It seems too much. I might go for a green that's just too bright. But that's pretty much it. So I'm going to, uh, let's see, should I come out here for like a nice little angle view, even in the rain? But that's it, guys. That's the interior. I hope you liked it. Thanks again for all the people who joined me tonight. I really enjoyed having you here. It was some fun time talking to you. I love it. And for all those who were so gracious and all those super chats, guys, and to all those that support me with membership, I'm very, very thankful to you. I really, really appreciate you. Um, and I hope uh, you can find some time to join my Discord so we can like chat and get to know one another because I'm very grateful for your support. So. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, everyone, and um, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Take care, everyone. Bye.